Hi, welcome to 12 Minute Prep. In this lesson, we will review the universal cognitive aptitude test, which is used in many pre-employment hiring processes. The lesson will include a short review of the test's format, its scoring methods and passing scores, the many types of question styles that show up on this test. We will solve some sample questions together, and I will give you a snapshot into the prep courses that I offer, which can help you maximize your score potential on this assessment. Let's start. The Universal Cognitive Aptitude Test, known as UCAT, is an internationally friendly aptitude test by criteria that measures general cognitive aptitude, which is said to be a predictor of job performance. It is often used for pre-employment purposes for mid to high level positions and is recommended for international and non-native English speaking candidates as it does not test or focus on language knowledge of vocabulary and grammar. The UCAT contains 40 questions and takes 20 minutes to complete. Each question is multiple choice and has five answer choices with one correct answer. The test's questions become increasingly difficult as you progress through the test. Each question is worth one point, and you do not lose points for answering questions incorrectly. You're not allowed to use a calculator on the test, but you may bring scratch paper for calculations. The average score on the UCAT is around 20. A score of 26 is in the 75th percentile, and a score of 30 is in the 90th percentile. A score of 33 as in the 97th percentile. Your target score will depend on the position you're applying for as certain positions may require higher scores than others. Your score report will show recommendations for specific positions based on your score. For example, the score range for an analyst is 22 to 35, while the score range for a software engineer is 19 to 33. If you scored a 20, it would show you as a fit for a software engineer position, but not the analyst position. The UCAT is made up of four general question types, numerical reasoning, logical reasoning, spatial and abstract reasoning, and attention to detail. Numerical reasoning questions will evaluate your ability to work with and understand numbers. Question types include number series, word problems, and fraction value. You may also be asked to interpret various graphs, tables, and other data. It is recommended that you bring scratch paper for calculations since you will not be allowed to use a calculator. Let's take a look at this sample question. Take 45 seconds starting now. Let's take a quick look at how to solve this. This may appear to be a complicated probability question, but if you take a step back, it's simple addition. First, let's just visualize the 20 counters, 9 yellow, 4 black, and 7 green. The probability of drawing a yellow counter is 9 out of 20. The probability of drawing a black counter is 4 out of 20. This means the probability of drawing a yellow or a black counter is the same as adding those two together making 13 out of 20 the correct answer. Logical reasoning questions will assess your ability to think critically and draw conclusions. These question types include deductive reasoning or seating arrangements. This will ask you to be able to arrange things in order based on given information. Assumptions and conclusions, which will ask you to determine whether or not a conclusion is true based on assumptions presented to you. Let's take a look at this sample question. Take 35 seconds starting now.
The correct answer is C. The conclusion is incorrect. Let's take a quick look at how we get to the answer. First, let's try to turn those sentences into something more digestible. All Y items are green can be written as Y, arrow to the right green. B items are always blue or the same color as Y items turns into B, arrow to the right, blue, forward slash green. And only green items are for commercial use turns into commercial use, arrow to the right, green. Here's an illustration to help visualize these statements. The conclusion states that B, arrow to the right, commercial use. But we can see in the illustrations that items for commercial use can only be green, while B items can also be blue. There we go, conclusion refuted, and we pick incorrect as the right answer choice, which is answer C. Spatial and abstract reasoning questions will assess your ability to visualize and sort shapes. Question types include shape series, matrices, odd one outs, and spotting differences between similar figures. Attention to detail questions will test a very specific skill. You will be presented with tables and figures and will be asked to spot how many are duplicates. You will need to pay close attention to the figures to spot if there are any differences or if they are identical. I cannot stress enough the importance of preparing for this test. Here is just a modest example for how things can look for a candidate before and after taking a course. Imagine John's starting point prior to practice is 20 out of 40 correct answers, which puts him above 50% of the population. Completing a course with a thorough review of each question type, teaching him how to shortcut his response times and spot the traps more easily with practice examples, and then having him complete full-length simulations that let him train in real test conditions with test-taking strategies can get him to score 26 correct, which is roughly above 75% of the population. That is, with the help of preparation, John got past 25% of the population of candidates, and this is a modest success story on my website. Even if we take a much more modest scenario, there is absolutely no advantage to running into this test unprepared. You can start out by taking my free introduction prep course on my website. This course has helped over 60,000 candidates to date. It is listed as a recommended resource among recruiters and HR teams. There is also the option of taking my paid prep course, which was created specifically for the UCAT you'll get a 360 preparation experience, lessons for each question type, summary quizzes plus explanations, and solving tips to reduce response times. Score reports will identify your strengths and weaknesses, and full-length practice tests will simulate real test conditions and include test-taking and time management strategies. You will also have the option to have a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with a test expert who will help you maximize your own score potential. Start maximizing your score potential with 12-minute prep.